Good morning, kindergarten. Now that we've done with the Pledge of Allegiance in our morning song, it is time for Bible. Let's go ahead and begin by going before the Lord in prayer. Prayer position, hands folded, eyes closed so we can focus on the Lord and not on anything else that may be around us. Let's go ahead and say the morning prayer with Miss Smith. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespassed against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. Father, I pray over all my students and their families in this time that we are experiencing right now. Lord, we pray your protection and your safety over us all, over our church, over our school, over everyone. God, as there are also many people that are sick right now, we pray healing amongst those that are sick. And for those that are well, we pray, God, that your mighty hand of protection will be upon us. Lord, we pray your provision over every need in this time. I pray you would help my students with their work, anoint their minds to receive knowledge, and help me and all the teachers through Rebecca teach them, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Dear Lord, we thank you, O oh God. May today be a blessed, filled day. In the mighty name of Jesus, and we all say, Amen. All right, let's go ahead and sing our favorite song unto the Lord. Amen, 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 amen. I held it kind of long that time for those that were able to hold it with me. Good job. All right, so now let's go ahead and get into our Bible story for this morning. Today we're learning about when God sends the Holy Spirit. After Jesus went back to heaven, his friends prayed and stayed together in Jerusalem. One morning, a sound like a strong wind blowing filled the house where they were staying. Something that looked like a small fire sat on top of each person's head. The Holy Spirit, Jesus promised, had finally came. There were people from many different places staying in Jerusalem. These people spoke many different languages. When they heard the noise, they gathered around the house to see what was going on. Jesus' friends began to speak in other languages, telling all the people about Jesus. The people in Jerusalem were amazed because they heard what Jesus' friends were saying about Jesus in their own language. Many people believed in Jesus and started to tell other people about Jesus too. Wow, what a great story. This is teaching us about when God sent the Holy Spirit. That is God's Spirit that he sent to live inside of each and every one of us. To help us and to guide us and to lead us and to protect us in all that we do. And one day God is going to fill each and every one of you with his spirit. I know we have one student in the class that has the Holy Spirit already and that's Jaden. That is so exciting. 
And I know God is going to fill each and every one of you with his spirit. All right, that was a great lesson for today. Go ahead and get to coloring your Bible worksheet, and I pray you all have a great rest of your day. God bless you, and I love you. Bye!